Good old, good old magenta. Good old magenta grind. What? What, 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 what game are we playing? What, we are, what game are we playing? Marathon. We're playing marathon. So we're playing marathon. Yeah. We're this finally is to one like of a real game. The best games of all time. Yep. So of all time. We played some cool games. This is like one of the first Arrival. like Leonardo. Doom is probably the other closest. <laughs> but Doom is is very good and this game came out around the same time as Doom, like a little bit after it or whatever. Seems like you got your sensitivity up mega high. Like to the point that it's like real jittery. You're you're looking around. Like it's going to be annoying for our viewers. It's always been a little bit of a problem with Marathon. Just the way it controls. There's no like... Should I change it? There's no like Should input lag. Like, change it? I mean, it seems like you're barely moving your hand and you're moving a lot. So yeah, you might want to like change it a little bit. Dog. In true, in true Our Let's Play fashion, we're going to be like real slow and boring. <laughs> Let's watch Mouse. us change our settings. I'm not going to edit this out. You know I'm not going to edit this out. Like this? I don't know. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you. You don't know me. Then let me get to know you, damn it. Can you, in this version, can you go back in that door? Nah. Do you remember the earlier version of Aleph 1 where you started yeah, out in a Pathways, Pathways into, into darkness, darkness level and then you yeah. wound up over here? It was like, they thought they were being cool. So this game is Marathon. Bungie made this game a long time ago. It was It's the progenitor to Halo, basically, and in so being the progenitor to Destiny, which is a game that we like a lot. Yeah, we played it after Halo, but... The four, these guys that you're killing are called the four with a P, F, H, <laughs> whatever. Message to all Marathon terminals. Marathon emergency systems broadcast. Today at 0820 hours, the Marathon came under surprise attack from unknown hostile forces. The Marathon has sustained serious damage. At 0830 hours, alien forces boarded the marathon. The current situation is dire. All personnel are required to arm themselves and fight for their lives. Posted at a time. Incoming message from Leela. Welcome to the marathon. I am Leela, one of two surviving artificial intelligences aboard <laughs> the marathon. I've been severely damaged and I'm working to understand the current situation. Find the teleport terminal located in the hangar's control room. By that time, I should have a better idea of what's going on. End message. This is where you are now. From here, you can explore the rest of the hangar area, although not all of the doors on the level are functioning. This is the pattern buffer at this location. Save point. There is a jump pad at this location. Activate the terminal to leave the hangar area. That's where you're trying to get. Look at all that bullshit we gotta walk through. Look at all that bullshit we gotta walk through. There's gonna be a hallway and a half. So that's This how... first level is pretty straightforward except for that hallway, which is like a maze. But uh, yeah, this game is great. So these guys are called the Four. They're clearly like what became the Fallen eventually. They're like four-armed yeah. guys. That's how Marathon delivers its story. We should also mention... Terminals. Yeah, there's Terminals. This game is better than Doom in a bunch of ways. It's basically Doom gameplay-wise, but it's got an actual story with an actual totally kick-ass like Golden Age sci-fi universe um, written by a sci-fi author, Greg Kirkpatrick. Although I think from what I hear, he's like a science teacher now or something. But back in the day, he was like trying to be a sci-fi guy or whatever, and he was a really good writer. Um, this game was made by like eight guys in a shitty apartment in Chicago. That was like how big Bungie was at the time. It's like Jason Jones. Which is current. pretty incredible. Yeah. Like there's some cool like, you know, old videos of them. This music, which is the, this game is the only one in the I Marathon Trilogy to have music in, in game, yeah, not which just menu music. Which is awesome. Uh, like, this music was just big... made by Alex Seropian, the president of Bungie at the time, or CEO or owner or whatever he was technically to them. Um, He's no longer at Bungie. He did. He's at Wide Load now. Or no? He, well, Wide Load, I guess. But Wide Load is like at D Disney now. So. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Wide Load just kind of makes like mobile. <laughs> yeah. Family games. They made now. Stubbs the Zombie for the Xbox, the original Xbox, and, and now they stopped making they stopped games like that. Cool games. Yeah. You gotta go up. You gotta go up those stairs. You gotta find like a lift. You gotta. You gotta. These two D maps don't represent three D space. <laughs> Oh, there's that guy. That's a spit. 
Those guys are awesome. They're really rad. They're like, cyborgs. Lore-wise. They're like aliens that evolve to the point that they don't need. That they're born without vital organs. They're just like a brain and a brain stem, and they're immediately bonded with a cyborg body. Did that just say a bunch of computer shit? Basically? Computer shit, and then security breach. Yeah. Um, basically, that fit guy was like hacking the marathon through that terminal or whatever. So the the f- the aliens that are attacking the marathon. The story. The story. The thing that's going on right now <laughs> is that uh, there's this colony ship called the Marathon that was built out of one of the carved out of one of the moons of Mars. It was made out of Demos or whatever. Sick fight skills, bro. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, you're place. you're like a cyborg marine who is in stasis or whatever on the ship who has yeah, been called like recon number fifty four yeah or whatever. Um, you have been brought online basically to defend the marathon. Um, by what? Leela, the ship's AI. Uh, she's one of the ship's AIs. Um, so the marathon's being attacked by uh the the four, which are like a a cast system of aliens. Don't go too far or you'll teleport. And in fact, you should probably hit escape because I think it's going to like automatically go ahead in a minute. Um, if you hit escape, it won't teleport you. I'm going to explain some stuff and then you can teleport. Okay. Uh, you got to basically, the four are like a cast system of aliens and they're attacking the ship. There's like the four and the spit and they've got some other guys too, but they're a bunch, like of, a bunch of guys and stuff. They're slavers, basically, the four. They like enslave other races. A lot like some cool stuff happens the with cast that system in Halo. Yeah, to except some it's not slave. It's not religion not based. It's it's slavery based, basically. But um, they uh, basically they they're attacking the marathon. We don't know why, and we don't know what's going on. And the sh- one of the ship's AIs, Leela, is like, "Hey, we gotta do a bunch of stuff, but then some shit gonna happen." There's some other AIs and some shit gonna happen. Yeah. So let's find out what happened. Incoming message from Leela. All of the information that I've gathered so far indicates that the alien invasion of the Marathon has been relatively uncoordinated. I suspect that this is partially due to the Marathon's large size. However disorderly the alien invasion is, their assault of the computer net has been extremely effective. Let's capitalize computer net. I detect security breaches in almost every computer system aboard the Marathon. I have learned that there is an alien creature that is capable of interfacing with our systems. That you must guy. kill any of these creatures that you find. It is a priority that we stop them. Even now, they are penetrating my defenses. Teleport now. And message. Jump pad. <laughs> Alright. This guy's behind these pillars, dog. This guy's behind these pillars. It's like I'm psych. It's like I'm, <laughs> I'm a fucking. We've played prodigy. this game a few times. I'm a fucking prodigy. Um, this yeah. game made made me poop myself when we yeah. played it. Like, yeah, dog. It does all the things. Pushes all my buttons. Yeah, it's great. UESC marathon. Incoming message from Leela. I am now in contact with a number of colonists planet side, but their reports on the situation below are conflicting and obviously exaggerated. Those little bitches, your leg isn't off. <laughs> the primary medium range radio antenna has been disabled or destroyed, which makes communication extremely difficult. The only thing which seems clear is that the spaceport was obliterated by low yield nuclear weapons minutes after the attack on the marathon began. This I can verify through my own optical instruments. I looked at it with my telescope. <laughs> The invaders seem to be more interested in the marathon than the colony, at least in the short term. The motives behind their unprovoked attack are still unknown, however. I think we're we're orbiting Tau Ceti or whatever. That's the colony we're at. This is the computer terminal that you're using now. I can't teleport you out of this sele- this section from here, so you'll have to leave from another terminal after you find the assault rifle. <gasps> Gotta get a new gun. Gotta get that assault rifle. There is an M75 assault rifle slash grenade launcher and ammunition at this location. When firing on the fully automatic setting, this weapon is highly inaccurate, <laughs> but the grenades hit hard, and it's the best we can do right now. So ammunition hard. may be scarce for a while, so be prepared to f- to f- fall back to your pistol. Fall back. Here is the terminal you must reach to leave the section. Alien infiltration of this area is high. Proceed with caution. You may find doors blocked or stairways retracted on the way because an AI is in control of these fun. The AI in control of these functions is damaged. And Foreshadowing. Behaving, behaving erratically. Foreshadowing. His, his the door opening AI is behaving erratically. 
Why don't they talking about old Obi Wan Kenobi? <laughs> you mean old Ben? I mean old Obi Wan Kenobi. You mean old Obi Wan Kenobi? <laughs> I mean Ben Kenobi. Uh, something we should also note is that we're playing this on a modern Windows 10 PC with the aid of the Aleph One open source yeah. engine. Oh. Uh, which is a really cool... Basically, Bungie released the Marathon 2 source code, which is the engine that runs... that originally ran Marathon 2 and Marathon Infinity, uh, and then somebody converted all of the Marathon 1 maps to run in that engine and then added a bunch of features to it, like, you know, high-resolution uh, OpenGL support and all kinds of stuff. Got that and gun. These are high-res... These are, like, up-resed textures that are... They're super, like, exactly With faithful to the original. Like, this is what the fucking game looked like. Just yeah, it, it's, it's a super incredible project. Yeah, it's super Bungie great. has, like, pimped it at various points. Yeah, it's, like, six guys, too, and it's really, like, one guy, from what I remember. There's, like, a guy who... Um, used to go by the moniker Tree Llama in the IRC chat that I used to hang around in. And he's just like some programmer guy who just does a really kick-ass job with this thing. I don't know if it's still like actively developed or what. Like I don't know when the last release was. I think it was pretty recent now. I think it was like within the last couple of years that. Yeah, the, they did a I release. downloaded the most recent version, and it was from yeah. June. It was from like this year. I think this year, really. I Damn. Think. Yeah. So he must just keep. It was either keep this year or like it, it might have been June last year. Or oh, something. okay. Um. Yeah, yeah super great. cool. There were I checked earlier. There were people hanging out in the multiplayer. Uh, yeah, people play marathon. Yeah. You can just like join a network game. Yeah, I used to do that a lot. I used to just chill in marathon and like play yeah, a bunch we of did multiplayer. Did that a bit? It's a super cool like like desolate sci-fi game. Yeah, this is, is this is like the thing that I think of when I think of '90s lonely like crazy sci-fi like yeah like and not like sci-fi became in like the 2000s now we just don't have sci-fi sci-fi is like not a thing anymore basically we'll get like one or two sci-fi movies a year really um there, there's a bit but it's very different i it's, mean it's it's actually like now becoming more like 90s sci-fi a lot of it like the martian and uh and like that matthew mcconaughey movie that i always yeah, forget the name of those are very like '90s sci-fi movies. Yeah. Um, but this is like very like Isaac Asimov, like hardcore motherfucker, Philip K. Dick, weird like like literary concepts sci-fi. It's not just like aliens shooting at each other and stuff. It's it's partially about that, but it's also like about some philosophy stuff and some psychology stuff and some emotion stuff and it's just really good it's a really good story and it's it perfectly it's really captures well this milieu and this tone yeah, and stuff the music and the environments and the like what's yeah, going on all these synths and crap which is part of what we liked so much about the original halo like partly it's yeah. like very desolate like you're just walking you're exploring this alien installation yeah even alien though artifact. even though it is like space marines and stuff it's they're, like they're there, very but far future like space dead. marines <laughs> yeah most of the time and yeah. you like save a few halo one was very like heavily inspired by alien which is yeah like a 90s sci-fi movie you know or even an 80s sci-fi movie i think so alien and this <laughs> and this yeah um, um and then like is, as sci-fi evolved in the 2000s it became super like kind of not sci-fi it became mostly just like military is what it was yeah it was really halo just like did the that. modern mil yeah halo did a that. really strong degree like all the human shit in halo 2 and halo 3 is super uninteresting by comparison to the rest of the stuff because it's just like the modern military running around doing some stuff on like kind of basically modern earth yeah we, which is we weird because in a lot of the a lot of the ancillary stuff to the halo series like i love bees the arg they did for halo 2 when they explore the human shit, like 2552 Earth, it is super future-y. There's like yeah. a lot of future shit that's happening and really interesting sci-fi concepts there. They just don't go into it all at all in the games. Whereas all the like Arbiter shit in Halo 2 and all the alien shit in Halo 3 is way more interesting because it's like this. And that's just like 100% of what the shit in this in Halo 1 is. Yeah. And this game is, you know, like Halo 1 is great, but it's great like Alien is. Like this this game is mega deep in terms of its its story. Like it's yeah. way more about something than yeah. Halo is even. Um, uh, they, they have a weird habit of, with Halo, like the, yeah. the extra like marketing content yeah. for the games. 
They're going to be some spit guys. Yep, they're going to drop down all around you, man. 